People don't speak as they wait in line, standing one metre apart. The queues growing outside supermarkets. There are no smiles. There's a sadness here, but no stockpiling. People buying what they need in silent solidarity for each other. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As everyone knows by now, Italy is on lockdown. And yes, we are on lockdown and for good reason, because you know, Corona is definitely wreaking havoc over here. With that being said, there are some restrictions that we have to follow while being on lockdown and I figured I'd share them with you guys. So today we're gonna to discuss the top five restrictions that the government has put in place for us to keep us safe. Restriction number one, we have a curfew. Yes, we have a curfew from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. You cannot be on the road transiting or anything unless you're going to work or you're going to the hospital. Um, everything is closed anyway by 6 p.m. So there's really no need for you to go anywhere. You need to stay in your home. It's good for you, it's good for me, okay? You will get in trouble if you're out on the street and it's so serious that even before the hour, the Italian police are driving around with speakers over their cars telling everyone to get into their house. Perché tutta la cittadinanza di restare in casa, evitare uscite inutili, evitare gli assembramenti, evitare di andare nei luoghi affollati. Grazie. Emergenza coronavirus. Il sindaco avverte tutta la cittadinanza di restare in casa, evitare uscite inutili, evitare gli assembramenti. Clearly, it's a serious matter. Restriction number two. So we have to also carry documentation around with us, an Italian transit decree. It's pretty much like a permission slip to travel to and from work, the hospital, pharmacy, grocery store, um, to get fuel, um, the mechanic, things of essential necessity. The cops are putting like little road stops. So they do stop and check you. And if you don't have your Italian decree with you or you're lying, you can get a fine or you can get put in prison. So carry that slip around. Restriction number three, carpooling and leaving your residence city is a no, no. Unless you have work, or you're going to the hospital. So pretty much like say if I didn't have a car, my car broke down, I'm in the military, so I'm essential personnel. And one of my buddies lives in the same city and I need to get to work. I can carpool with them, but I would just have to sit in the back seat because you can't sit right next to each other. Now, you can't leave your resident city for things like, oh, you want to go grocery shopping because the market in your city doesn't carry what you want. You can't do that. So you just gotta make do. You can't just drive from city to city because you just wanna get whatever. Restriction number four, shopping restrictions. So as you know, social distancing is becoming huge um, with this whole coronavirus epidemic, pandemic. Stores here are only letting a certain amount of people in at a time due to square footage and social distancing. So because of that also, only one member per household can go out and get essential items. So you can't bring your spouse, you can't bring your brother, sister, mom, whatever with you. It just has to be one person from your household. For the last restriction, restriction number five, no outdoor physical activity. So the prime minister just shut that down not too long ago before you could be like, you know, in front of your house or like in the vicinity of your home and work out outside. But because people have been like, you know, pretty much taking it and running with it literally, <laughs> that yeah, he kind of can't ask that, cancel that. So if you want to work out, you got to be indoors, unfortunately. That's all five restrictions that we have here in Italy. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be doing updates every couple of days about you know everything that's going on here and as always aspire to inspire and just try to stay positive because that's all we can do in this crazy time all right see you guys on the next one